my top 10 recommended BL series of all time. It's been a while since I have done my own commentaries on a certain video on this channel. When I became a BL fan a couple of years ago, I have never thought that this industry would become so much bigger than it was before. For the last few years, the BL industry gave a lot of beautiful stories albeit not that perfect technically. In this video, I will be sharing my own top 10 BL series of all time purely based on my preference and not due to being flawless. I'd be glad if you also share your most recommended BL series on the comment section below. Anyway, if you live in a different country and some BL series are not available to yours, you can use ExpressVPN to watch those restricted series. Use the link on the description below to have 49% discount and 3 months free if you opt to avail the 12 month plan. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. First on our list, Sotters and Sotters S the series. Although these BL series were released on 2016 and 2017 respectively, the two are still some of my most favorites because these introduced me to the world of BL. If it wasn't for Sotters, I might not that enthusiastic when it comes to the BL series that came after it. Truth be told, if these two were to be compared to some of the latest BLs released for the past 2 to 3 years, the quality might not be that great. But Sotas and Sotas S have this classic aura that's still recommendable for new audiences of BL dramas. The iconic BL couple, Kong Pob and Arthit, is one of my favorite BL couples even in today's BLs because they really looked great with one another and also had an enemies to love a story. Aside from that, their relationship is something that was relevant on its time due to society's acceptance of gay couples. Even in 2021, both Sotters and Sotters S are still good BL series to binge watch from time to time. Number 2. I Told Sunset About You. The sequel of this BL was already released a couple of months ago but I Told Sunset About You is still closer to my heart compared to I Promised You The Moon. It usually happens to series or even movies that have a sequel because the introduction of their characters is more interesting than the continuation of the story. With almost a year ago since it's released, I Told Sunset About You is still one of my top 5 BLs of all time not only because of its story but also with the production quality. The cinematography of this BL is one of the best I have seen in a BL that made it even more special. The love story of Teodo definitely has a lot of flaws in it but thankfully, they managed to speak out what their hearts really wanted. Number 3, A Tale of Thousand Stars. The first BL to air in 2021 that was produced by GMM TV is truly the best of this year due to its unique story and setting. With almost two years in the making because of being delayed since 2019, fans were already losing hope whether this BL would see the light of the day. Fortunately, A Tale of Thousand Stars materialized in January 2021 and it made our wait so much worth it. The story of Poopa and Tien isn't ordinary since we were used to have love stories between engineering or medical students wherein those kind of stories usually happened inside of universities. This time, we were served with an extraordinary cinematography and beautiful landscapes of Thailand's countryside. A Tale of Thousand Stars will be my new standard for BLs to come in the near future. Number 4, Until We Meet Again, a BL drama that is deserved to be recognized for its uniqueness and beautiful story is Until We Meet Again. Released in 2019, it was one of the most anticipated BL series to come out during its time due to new on-screen couples and of course with its interesting storyline. Some BL fans actually criticized this BL before due to constant drama and some scenes being draggy for them. But until we meet again withstood the test of time and became one of the best BLs released in 2019 even after the criticisms. The unique story of reincarnation was a standout. I hope that future BLs would also have the uniqueness with their plot. Number 5. Theory of Love. Off and Gun are the only on-screen BL couple from GMM TV who are still doing BL series even after their successful careers. That's the reason why I always admire their works especially their BL projects, and that includes Theory of Love. This BL wasn't the healthiest depiction of relationship out there but this kind of stories really happen in real life. As much as we hated the character of Kai for being a toxic person, it was done with so much honesty aside the ending, 
Another thing that made me fell in love with Theory of Love was its official soundtrack that helped the show even more dramatic. With not me coming to us towards the end of 2021, my off-gun heart is really screaming for the excitement. Number 6. He's coming to me. If there's a BL that could be compared to He's coming to me, that would be Peach of Time. The two BLs feature both ghost characters as the main leads on the plot although they have their own moments in the show. What I really liked about this BL was the truthfulness of the feelings between the main characters. Even though Matt was a ghost, it wasn't a big deal for Thun to love him unconditionally like he was alive. Also, the acting performance of the actors in this show was really strong and it made everything so much memorable. He's Coming To Me might be released in 2019 but it's still one of the best BLs you can watch today. Number 7. Cherry Magic. It's no surprise that Cherry Magic is one of my recommended BL series. This is due to being a TV series that's easily recommendable to anyone whether they are a BL fan or not. The hilarious scenes gave me a good laugh and set my mood for the whole day. The supernatural plot combined with its light story were the strong points of this BL series. Of course not everyone was fascinated with the storyline but Cherry Magic gave a unique story and served it beautifully to the audiences. Number 8, like in the movies. I have never thought that a Filipino BL would capture my heart and will remain forever in my mind, but like in the movies was a spectacular series that deserves to be known internationally, amidst the controversies. Like in the movies was a beautiful story that inspired so many people from our community. It might not be perfect but the sincerity behind this show was undeniable. With over a year since its release date, I'm still waiting for the sequel of Like in the Movies for the continuation of Carl and Vlad's story whether they are really for each other or destined not to be. Number 9. Life Love on the Line. Even though this BL only has 4 episodes in total, it was one of the few BLs that really has a complete story. From the beginning of the relationship of our main leads, it was very detailed to the point that their characters were given enough development throughout the show. The ending was also a pretty good one because of portraying one of the biggest obstacles in a gay relationship. Overall, Life Love on the Line was made to give representation to the community. Last but definitely not the least, Light on Me. The latest BL that's included on this list is Light on Me. For me, it's one of the most polished Korean BL aside from To My Star and it's truly an amazing show, to be honest. Light On Me is still not on par with that of other Korean dramas but those have bigger budget on their productions. I'm still hoping that there would be mainstream Korean drama that would feature BL couples in the near future. Light On Me definitely upped the game in 2021 and that's a good thing for the upcoming BL series. It's actually hard to pick a top 10 of my most favorite or recommended BL series of all time since there are other shows that need to be recognized. My honorable mentions would be Dark Blow Kiss, Trapped, The Best Story, Lovely Writer, Manner of Death, Thorn Type, and so much more. For the meantime, this will be my personal recommendation list. Thank you for watching. That's it and see you on the next one.